hello welcome everyone welcome um today i'll be doing a video on how to make this corset treat box um well it was a requested video i never even thought i was going to be making a video but yep here we are so i'm delighted to share how i did it with you so um of course i already made my um cuts on uh, and i use my explore 2 so this is like the body part um i'm going to pair it with this pattern part and these are like the sides so first let me just um oh i've also made like a few other cuts because um as you can see when i put the boxes together um i mix like different colors so um that part is up to you so you decide what um patterns you're gonna mix uh with what so let me just take the ones that i'm going to be using for today Right, so this part right here, you have to have um, the score lines. Hopefully, you can see it right there, and all of that. So when you are cutting, it's very important to, you know, to make sure that you use the score tool. All right, it's the one that looks like a pen that I used, not like a machine so let me show you real quick it's like this one that i used okay instead of the like the little cutter one so this one okay so i've got these two pieces out so i'm gonna take all the pieces out first that i need and when i was putting my mat together before i cut it um, I just selected like the colors and um, you know what pieces I wanted so probably maybe just four mats you'll need but um, like I moved things around and had like certain things on the same mat so like when you download the SVG it wouldn't come with like these on the same um, mat it's just a mat with these two things so I added this and um you know that is also a choice because you can have these in plain colors like this one right here um like it's the same thing but I did it in the plain color so like if you want to double it but in the cut file it's not doubled you just get like one of those so however though I think I'm going to double it so that it depends on what you're putting in your treat bag it'll you know withstand the pressure um, finally my last mat bend it a little bit just to get the pieces off they come off relatively easy I'm gonna use a glue gun and my tacky glue. So, you know the trick with using the glue gun, the glue gun technically uh, sticks rather fast or hardens rather fast. So, um, that's why I decided to use um, the tacky as well but i'll use the tacky glue for like certain parts so we have four of these 
which you don't need four of them. It's only if you cut it. Um, I cut four of them because, like I said, I was planning to, like, uh, double it. So, you probably would just have, like, one, um, two of these. So, I need four for to do it the way I want to do it. So, then you'll have two of these, like this. That's like that. So this is one, and here is the other one. So you need two of those. Then you'll need two of these. So here it is, I have two of those. And then you need two of these. But um, when I cut, of course I cut um, um, extra. So it, it can fit because I'm using the 12 by 12 um, cardstock. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do, and it's kind of the tricky part. Well, actually, let me not do that part first since it is the tricky part. I'll do this part first. So it's where you line this up with this. So I'm gonna, let me see, make sure you can see it. Line it up at the bottom. And then I'm actually gonna use um, Elmer's stick glue because it's faster. So basically gonna go like this underneath there, stick it down for the process of this video, but make sure you get all the edges and all the parts. Then next, once that's glued down, I'm gonna open my tacky glue and I'm gonna use a, a paintbrush because with the tacky glue, I'm afraid to get like glue everywhere. So that helps me to like brush and spread. So let's see. I'm gonna do this part next. And with this part, the bigger side if you can see, like, this side is wider. So the wider side is at the top, and the smaller side goes at the bottom. Like, like this. Okay, let's make sure you can see. Like that. Okay. So, just gonna put a little bit of glue along the sides. And don't forget in the middle. All right. Go all the way down. Try not to get it too wide a spot. And then remember that you want to put the bigger side at the top and it matches up quite evenly like that okay so once this is done you want to do so I, I need to do another one right you need to do uh, two of them and then remember to glue it this way up. Oops So then remember to glue it with the, the bigger the wider side up All right And so then you once you have two of these completed You're gonna go to do the sides and when you cut it, you'll notice uh, they're not equal. So one side is uh, pretty long. So like, let me see. So this one's 
longer and that one's shorter if you can see it like that okay so I'm gonna do the score lines first so the the score lines are the side that you want to fold in so it's like this like this is the score I can see the score here but but I can't see it back there so you want to follow it fold it in make sure it's creased really good then there's a the next score line right here so I'm gonna fold it in then crease it really good then there's another score line right here so I'm gonna go in fold it really good and there's another score line I'm gonna go in fold it really good and the last one so then I'm gonna come in fold it really good so you want to make sure all of the score lines in the middle are folded well so then you're gonna do the sides and they are score lines at, down the sides too so it's like this go in go in crease go in go in crease go in increase so this is like kind of like my first video doing a DIY so DIY I'm sorry <laughs> so with that said just get a bear with me a little bit trying to do it as fast as I can without using the speed up thing uh, the time lapse all right so then you're gonna do um, pretty much the same thing with this side right and you can see the score lines there there are no score lines on that side but once it's folded it looks like this let me um hold on so i have all right so there's this one that i already folded um both sides anyway right? guys as soon as you finish putting these two pieces together now here's the little well it was for me anyway here's the little um challenging part so this the longest one you want to look for the the biggest like i don't know box rectangle okay so this one is like if you can see the others it's like the widest and it's at this end because the other end is you know smaller and also on this piece these two ends are like different sizes so um start with the biggest and you're gonna take this turn it over and on let's see on this side right here you're gonna line up if you can see you're gonna line up line it up this way like this is this part is the side so the biggest part faces this and this way so then I'm going to here as well use some hot glue All right, so I'm going to use the hot glue and I'm going to line it up right here end to end and then just push it down. Make sure that you didn't put that much that it'll squeeze out and burn because it's pretty hot. <laughs> okay, so let me make sure you can see. Okay. So once this part is on, then you have to go around and attach this to the other sides all the way up to the top. So the next piece is like this little flap right here. So I'm gonna eyeball it. And when I'm eyeballing it, I'm gonna make sure, see how it's kind of like curved like this? I'm gonna make sure I push this in because otherwise it'll show on the front 
So I'm just going to do that one side by pushing it in. So hopefully you can see that it's in right there. Like it's in, like off of this a bit. So in, out, in, out. That's how it kind of goes. But anyway, let me just glue this part right here. So I'm keeping it in. And I'm checking both sides and making sure it's still in. Then I'm going to put a little bit of glue. Going to hold it up. Um, I think my hand might be blocking it a little bit, but I'm just holding it up and putting a bit of the tacky glue right there. Then I'm going to look back and make sure it's still in. You gotta keep it in right there, see? And this is how the other side looks. So you see, only this one is glued down, but you gotta make sure it's in, otherwise when you turn it over, it'll come out a bit and you'll see it out here. So that's why I was saying, make sure it's in, so push it in. Then this, see this line where the, the score line's on the inside? This goes in a bit. And then this part comes out. So let me show you that. Okay, so hopefully it's almost right, but not quite. But I'm going to bring this back out a bit, just a bit, not all the way out, as you can see. And then I'm going to put some glue on that as well. Just a little bit of my tacky glue so that you know with the hot glue it tends to glue really tight so that if you make a mistake then i don't know i think it's kind of messed up so that's why i'm using the, the the tacky glue for this all right so that part i'm gonna hold down a bit making sure that it's still in so a little bit of glue right here. I need to wipe that off because I don't like when it shows. And that's how the inside is. So, so far this and this is glued down. And it's kind of bent in a bit right there. This part right here, you're going to bring in a little bit more as well. But use the score lines to bend it. To, to kind of get like the shape for the side, if you understand. So now I'm going to do the side, but again, have to make sure, have to make sure that it's like this. Hopefully you can see closer. All right, so that's the shape you're going for. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue that other piece down. Just brushing it on. See, I'll do the last three pieces and then just put it in bit by bit. But it's easier to do it on this side, watching to make sure that none of it is sticking out. Because I've made that mistake before, so just so you know. That's what we're aiming for. And then this part right here, just bend it a little bit because this is at the top. So I'm gonna hold these down. Um, the tacky glue takes a little bit of time to stick. So, I mean, I guess it's according to your comfort. You can see which one works better for you. I would rather use the hot glue, but while I was making it, it was kind of a challenge because the, you know, the hot glue kind of, um, you know, it gets hard very quick. And if I said, like how I said, if you accidentally don't let it go in enough that it shows here and then that doesn't look right, well, then that's the problem. Like, 
for instance, uh, let's see. I know I made that mistake. Uh, oh, here it is. See? See, like, the back, this part I'm not showing. Like, I didn't push it in enough. So, it looks, like, weird right there with the sides, you know, kind of hanging out. So, you got to be careful for that. So, this is the front. You know, you kind of want perfection, or at least I do. So, that's the thing with that. Um, so, once this side gets dry, the next side is the shorter piece. So, for the shorter piece, for the shorter piece, this right here goes, let's see, let's see if I pick it up. It's not quite dried yet, but anyways, this side goes right here. Like, so then I am going to glue it. And I'm going to glue it the same way with the hot glue, but right here at the side. Being careful not to glue my hand. All right, so then um, I've lined up the ends. Hopefully you can still see. And then all I'm going to do is push this over like that and hold it down for a minute until the hot glue just, um, you know, takes to it. And once this side, the other side right here is dried, it's so much easier to you know, to do this side. So we're gonna do the same thing where we push this part and see how it curves out. You just kind of have to, where it's scored, push it in a bit and pull it back. So you push it in, pull it back. Okay, that's how it's supposed to look. So I'm gonna glue right there there it's easier for me so I can use hot glue right there just a little bit of hot glue and then this side it's already where I want it so I'm gonna hold it tight and then hold it up a little bit and I can add my hot glue to be pushed in a lot like I said before so I'm gonna push it in a bit then I'm gonna hold up the little tab like this hold it up and put the hot glue underneath at this point I can use the hot glue so make sure it's in it's in where I want it. It's bent in. Once it's bent in, then you bring it back out. See this part right here? So you bring it back out, like towards the edge. This gets a little bit easier, I promise. And hot glue gun. It's easier to use the hot glue at this point. And then the last little piece right here at the top. This piece right here is not glued, so I'm going to glue that. And again, you got to make sure that it doesn't show. So, right about there. Okay, so this is one side there. And now for this part of it, I wanna um I wanna put my lace on. 
so I have this lace that I got from Walmart and it's not very um like big or anything it's just like that much very thin okay and so with this I used the hot glue and I put it at the very edge just put it down at the very edge see this is the top so I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue right here at the very edge let me use these so I don't burn my fingers when I do that so I'm just gonna oh what's happening with this oh it's not touching okay so I'm just gonna put a little bit at a time. So I'm gonna start right here at the very edge. Put it down. You have to curve it, so you might need to bend it a little. And for this curve, I'm gonna put a little, little bit more glue. And then I'm gonna keep going all the way down to like this little V part right here. So I'm gonna make sure it goes down. And then I'm gonna bend it. And start to come back up so glue all here all the way back to the other end being careful not to burn my finger <laughs> okay there we go might need to scrunch it up a little bit just so it makes that curve nicely see so there oops hot glue stuck it to the table of course some leaked out uh -oh. there we go okay so now i just need to cut this bit off i can take these off As you can see, it's just a, a really little bit of lace. I don't know what the fuss is about, but barely any lace. But it helps to make it look cute, so I like it. All right, so it's just that little bit. That's how it looks right now. And I already went ahead and glued these two together. Remember, I had four, two of each color so these will get attached um pretty soon then all i'm gonna do is glue this this to the open side so i'm gonna glue it down to this side and it's much easier once you already did the other side so it's much easier for to do this side once you've already done that side and as you can see, I already did that side, right? So I'm just going to glue this to here. Then once I'm done that, I'm going to add these. And when I add these, I try to do like about, um, about a half inch and I do it with hot glue. So I put a half inch in and I make sure that it's lined up to this side. So say I'm gonna use this side. So say this is a half inch, then I just glue it right here in on this part where like the middle of this, the middle of the part where it's like, you know, like this part. Okay, so where that ends, that's where you do it and you do half inch. 
and so you do half inch on each side then you bend it and of course you do half inch on the other side the lace side the same way and then it's pretty much done so let me show you how the finished one looks like for instance this one this one's finished and um you know i added embellishments that i got from the dollar tree you know so like for instance let me show you really quick so like something like these you get from the dollar tree um even this is from the dollar tree and so like for this one I use like separate little gems to um, you know put it here this is supposed to be like the lace part like the string part but as we know it's cardstock and then oh, I started moving well then I took like a piece of the this and then I put it right there okay and these ones I, I didn't go too crazy and, and put um you know all over but like i could have like easily just used like the the little middle part right there and put it on each two so then you'll need like eight for each side but i wasn't trying to you know go too crazy with it um another tip or suggestion i have because i use 12 by 12 um cardstock there were like there were like lots of um pieces left over so instead of throwing it out i made like 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 you know the thank you gift the thank you gift tags on my cray cut then i added this and kind of like you can just tie it on to the back of it or something like that and I didn't go crazy with putting like the lace all over the bustier so like I didn't put it on the back you know but I mean I could if I want to or you could if you want to and like this one when you're done you know putting all your stuff that you want to put like I said I'm gonna put like fuzzy socks keychains different things like that inside and then you know you can just kind of use the paper to make it look cute and so that's pretty much it if you have any questions or anything like that feel free to add a comment um I guess since I'm starting up, <laughs> feel free to subscribe, <laughs> like, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.